I really love this type of geometry questions. We have a rectangle, and we have a circle which is touching this rectangle at this vertex. Now we draw a straight line starting from this vertex of the rectangle, like this, which cuts the circle at two different points. One is this vertex, or this point of contact, and the other is this point. Now, this is the center of this circle, and this is the point of contact of this circle with the ground. It is given that these three points are collinear, which means they lie on a straight line. The diagonal of this rectangle is 32 units, and the length of this chord is equal to 18 units. Our job is to find the area of this circle. So, can you find it? Okay, now consider this circle and these two lines. Since this is the point of contact of this circle with the ground, therefore this line is going to be the tangent to this circle, right? Also, this line is a secant line of this circle. So, we can use the second tangent theorem, which means if we have this circle and an external point P somewhere here. Now, draw a tangent line which touches the circle at point T, and then we draw a secant line which cuts the circle at points A and B, like this. So, the theorem says that the length of the segment PT square equals the length of the segment PA times the length of the segment PB. So, here if we label the length of this piece as L, then we get L square equals length of this diagonal, or 32 times length of this entire second, or 32 plus 18, or 50 units. So L square equals 1600, which gives L equals 40 units. Amazing! Next, let us draw this line which connects all these three collinear points. Now consider this triangle. What will be the value of this angle? Yes, you are right. It will be a right angle because this will be a diameter as it passes through the center of the circle. And we know that the diameter is always perpendicular to the tangent line. Let us label the length of this diameter as 2r, where r is the radius of this circle. Now we can use the Pythagoras theorem to get 40 square plus 2r whole square equals this hypotenuse, or 50 square. So, 4r square equals 2500 minus 1600 or 900. So, r square equals 900 over 4 or 225. Now the area is equal to pi times r square, or 225 pi, and that's it. This is our final answer. Wasn't this an amazing problem? So good!